Hi, welcome to another video. So, Gemini has launched their new Gemini 2.5 Pro IO Edition model. Well, it is technically a newly updated version of the already great 2.5 Pro model. This update claims to make 2.5 Pro even better at coding. It is apparently the same Night Whisper model that we were seeing in LM Arena and the other variants of that, which is awesome. They say that it is now even better at coding and has significant gains in front-end web development, editing, and transformation. They have also fixed a bunch of function calling issues that folks have been reporting. It now ranks number one on the Web Dev Arena leaderboard, which is basically for front-end web devy tasks, which is pretty awesome to see. It is exceptionally skilled at coding for web development tasks, which is kind of awesome for sure to see, which is pretty great to see. I mean, it was already super capable, and now it's even more capable, which is pretty awesome for sure. They say that Gemini 2.5 Pro delivers state-of-the-art video understanding, scoring 84.8% .8 on the video MME benchmark, which is pretty awesome. They show some demos where you can give it a screen recording of an application, and it can basically rebuild it with the same pages and stuff, which is pretty awesome. They also say that this new model is strong at front-end web development, helping you get more done. Implementing new features means manually diving into design files and inspecting components to match style properties like colors, fonts, padding, margins, and borders, then manually writing the CSS code needed to replicate those visual properties accurately. If you use the older model name in the API, then it will now automatically point to this new model, which is pretty awesome. They say that this new version will not only improve coding performance, but will also address key developer feedback, including reducing errors in function calling and improving function calling trigger rates. The previous iteration now points to the most recent version. This is kind of insane for sure. It is the same price as before, but we are getting even better coding performance. It was already so much better, but now it's apparently even better. I have tried it, and it is really very good. It can, like, replicate the whole Twitter platform with all the quirks and everything, which is awesome. It's exceptionally good at front-end tasks and just works amazingly well for all kinds of coding tasks. Literally, Google is on a roll. It's really awesome to see and get free performance upgrades on the already great models. The upgrade is hard to define, but in simpler terms, it makes it exceptionally good at front-end tasks, especially, which is quite awesome. I would be calling this 2.6 Pro, by the way. I have tested it on my 13 questions, and it obviously nails them. It's amazingly good at all tasks, just like the previous model, and just works really very well. Anyway, now let me show you how you can use it with something like Klein and RuCode as well. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0 Flash, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. For the provider, you can use the official Gemini or Open Router or Requesty based on what you want to use. All the previous model endpoints already point to the new model in the back end. So, you don't need to worry even if it shows the old model name. Anyway, just go ahead 
and in RuCode, make a new profile and select the provider you want to use, and then select the model name that you want to use and just save it. Now, you can just go ahead and start using it accordingly. For Klein, you can just go to the settings and just set it up accordingly by choosing the provider and the model name and just use it accordingly. So, that would be pretty good as well. Since this is a good model in front end and stuff, what we can do is ask it to make a game. Let's ask it to build me a good sailing ship game that allows me to drive a ship in the sea. It should be kind of cool for sure. Once we send it, you can see that it starts working on it immediately. It's pretty good for sure. Let's wait a bit for it to finish. I have seen that the inference speeds for Gemini are actually super good for a state-of-the-art model. I think that this is because of their own in-house tensor processing units, which is pretty cool. Anyway, it's now done. Now, if we run this, then this looks pretty good for sure. It works kind of well for sure. I mean, this level being generated in one shot is pretty great. Gemini 2.5 Pro's previous model wasn't this good at this. So, there's that. Let's try something else as well. I'm going to ask it to make me a portfolio page that has a ton of animations and looks amazing. Let's send it and see. Okay, it's now working on it. Let's wait a bit. And it's now done. So, this also looks kind of good to see. It's pretty awesome for one-shot generation, and this looks pretty awesome nonetheless. This model is actually amazing for sure. You can use this model for some really cool stuff. And it is also great at replicating designs and everything like that as well. Which means that you can give it a super rough design, or even a super detailed design, and it can replicate that super easily, which is pretty awesome. You can also give it videos of applications and multiple pages, and it can even take that in and replicate multiple pages and stuff like that, which is also pretty awesome. You can go ahead and give this a try. It's really awesome to see for sure. I really like how well it performs for coding tasks. It was already so good, and now it's even better, which is just awesome to see. It's like the best model that you can use, and even cheaper. Anthropic and OpenAI have been taking a pretty big beating by them, which is pretty awesome to see. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.